The Turkish company of FNSS are well known for their series of track vehicles, the Armoured Combat Vehicle 15 and the Armoured Combat Vehicle 19, with those latter figures indicating the gross vehicle weight. But for some years they've now been moving into the wheeled vehicle market, and this vehicle behind me is the latest PARS. In fact, there's three generations of PARS. First one, PARS 1 was the early one. PARS 2 were the ones currently in production for Malaysia in various configurations. And what you see behind me is the very latest PARS 3. And that has a number of improvements over the earlier one, especially on suspension. The PARS 3 is already being adopted by Oman in various configurations and what you have behind me is a version in the infantry fighting vehicle role featured with the latest FNS Sabre one-man turret armed with a 25 minute of a Bushmaster and a 7.62 coax machine gun. When compared with the earlier turret which was known as the sharpshooter this one has got much more volume so it's easier for the gunner. The vehicle has eight-wheel drive and what is unusual, it's got eight wheel steering, so you can actually steer on all eight wheels to give you a very tight turning circle. When you're on the road, you would normally use just the front four wheels. It has a pleak armour package for high level protection, and it has a gross vehicle weight of around 30 or just over 30 tonnes. And if you want, you could have an amphibious version as well. What is unusual is the commander and driver are on the very front of the vehicle with the power pack to their rear. And a key feature of the PARS 3, it's a modular design, so you can adopt it for a wide range of roles. For example, this is the IFE version, you can have an APC, you can have a mortar carrier, a command and control vehicle, and a recovery vehicle. And if you look at what Malaysia had, they had one version with the earlier sharpshooter 25mm turret, but the uh, cavalry wanted a different version, so they've got it fitted with a South African Denal two-person tur turret armed with a 30mm South African cannon and a 7.62 machine gun. Another version from Malaysia is fitted with laser-guided anti-tank missiles. So really, PARS 2 and 3 are a family of vehicles which can be easily adopted for a wide range of roles and missions, and they have not so far been adopted by the Turkish army, but as we said, PARS 2 in production for um, Malaysia and PARS 3 in production and in service for Oman.